Get Royal Konepo, my Jersey Seekers. Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're gonna be visiting SEMA 2022. For my very first time ever, I'm gonna experience um, this event. I never have uh, came to one. I always hear about, I would always hear about it, but it's just never really happened. But real quick, before we get any further into the, into the video, I wanna give a huge shout out to my boy, Johnny from the painters for making it happen I don't know, for making it happen for us and for getting us these fake passes nah i'm just kidding they're not fake ladies and gentlemen we just we just got we just got brand new names so luckily mine doesn't come with the name you know so i'm good i'm not embarrassed but i want to show you guys lalo's name he changed his name for the day you see yours what you see your name for the day freddy espinosa <laughs> what about yours Sergio Andre. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we're out here. They have some crazy ass stuff. So, hopefully, we'll record a little bit of everything. I think right now, exactly, our show just started. So, I heard that on the gas. Um, it's today. Today's our day to shine. Um, today's actually the third day of the event. It's Monday through a Friday thing. Today's Thursday. Sadly, um, I have to be back in Cali tomorrow, Friday, so we're just here for one day. But I think one day should be more than enough. And then what else, one more thing. I want to give huge props to Freddie, man. He's freaking kidding me. I've been watching him from my Instagram. And the dude is just tearing it apart, you know, so I give him props. Um, I really want to see him in person. But I don't know if he's going to do it, um, if he still has um, his trucks running and stuff, because like I said, they've been killing him Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Hey, Look at this guys now. This is just fucking insane. This is some Wesson and Diesel type shit. Holy crap. You know, I was talking to the show to my parents and I was telling them that you see some crazy ass shit here. So I'm my pa, fíjese en las cosas que hay aquí. Man, this is freaking crazy, honestly. I think you'll literally, literally see everything here. Look at these, holy crap. Insane. Holy cow. And this thing is huge. Look at this. Holy cow, look at this dude, what the fuck? This shit is just fucking insane. Miren esto. Una troca con seis llantas. Holy shit. And they turn, that's the fucking crazy part, look. These things are tall. Can you hold this? Let's make some noise for these two players. Let's go over the first So that really sucks. We just talked about Freddie. And I guess as we were talking about him, I was already taking pictures recording the trucks. He just freaking went and killed it, so I literally missed him. But uh, the show just started, man, you know? So I'm really, really excited, honestly. Not even like 50 minutes into a show and I already have a big old smile on my face. So there is the monster itself, the green machine.
little wheel spin, a little tire smoke. Oh. Guys, let's give it our captain for racing! Oh. What's up, Jeremy? What's up for this man right here? Hey. I just want to say this, when in doubt, if you don't feel like you're doing a whack burnout, park it against the wall. Who wants to see the car? Our man in the driver's seat hurt. He just had his birthday, so when he came by, let's just wish her a happy birthday. One, two, three, happy, happy birthday! birthday. Show you show clothes. Out there, y'all. 
What y'all think about Brandon Sorensen's BMW out there, y'all? What y'all think about the SEMA Vernyard, y'all? I lost my voice. Yo, check this out, guys. Up here, we got a Audi R8 twin turbo car. It's funny because you guys know me and I don't not really into cars and stuff. And my boy Johnny is into cars. He's actually into cars and Ford trucks. And me and Lalo are just asking stupid ass questions to him like if he knows. Well, Lalo's asking like, <laughs> Lalo's over here asking like, what, what year even is this? Like, can you drive it on the street? Why would somebody build this? And it's funny because uh, I'm wondering the same thing, you know, like, and then I was like, so somebody built this. So you're telling me somebody built this because they have money to blow? My boy Johnny is like, yeah, exactly. But like, man, no freaking fenders, no doors. This is freaking insane. This is in freaking insane. And then we're reading right here in the, on the cartelon, we're reading that this is 15, 1500 horsepower. Crazy, crazy, crazy. See, now this is my type of style. See, when it comes to this, I know how much this is worth. I know how much money has gone into this. No, it's freaking badass. So check it out, look who's out here, ladies and gentlemen. On the gas, made it. My boy Johnny was just telling me that they did these, they have these custom inserts. I didn't know, but I didn't watch the video, but they said that they bought it. They made them from another grill. They bought two grills like this. This piece right here is this piece. And they cut it here, basically. Small little piece. And on the gas is, it's one of my favorites. To be honest, I look up to them a lot. Look at these wheels, 30s. It's literally the same truck that I have, but you cannot compare it at all. I was selling Lalo as well. You can't even tell. Aquí lleva unas on the black, the black trims. They got rid of it. They made it a uh, flush, and it looks OEM, man. And this bed, they lifted it as well. And look, you can't even tell. It looks like it came like that from factory. Same thing with this um, tapadera. It comes with the black piece up here, and they got rid of it. And look. And then look at that custom back bumper. God, man, huge shout out to On The Gas, man. They're killing it. I really look up to them. That has been it for the burnouts. Um, now we're inside <laughs> looking at the vendors. And it's pretty badass because there's a lot of companies here that I'm very familiar with or that I have worked with. For example, one of my personal favorites for shocks, performance shocks, Q Q QA1s. And then we're just checking everything out. It's freaking crazy in here. It's insane. Check it out. They have drive shafts. As I mentioned, um, I know them because of their coilovers. I was running a couple in my, my older trucks. I mean, now I work with other companies, but from preference, this is a really badass company. Look at this, man. Ah, see, nada, viejones. Look at this, guys. You guys are gonna get mind blown. Here's the type of stuff I buy. Yonkers. I found it at a junkyard. 19 to 1931 chopping and dropping the roof oh so the roof is custom i'm gonna show you guys right now how it looks you guys are not even gonna believe it a lot of cutting and a lot of welding on into it i wish the body was a pretty good shape for being 87 years this car is 87 years More than then, all of our mamas. A lot of work has gone into this thing.
Look at that. So I'm gonna go through this bucket and piece. I'm gonna turn off the camera. I'm gonna show you guys the car in a bit. So check it out, ladies and gentlemen. This is the car right here. The one I just showed you guys on the buck. Unbelievable. I don't know if you guys see, like, those are the little twin turbos. It's funny because we're all saying that they literally look like, like, headlights, but they're not. They're the, those are the turbo. Sorry. This right here is my dream color. Almost a hundred years old, this car. It's about 90 years old. Check this car out, guys. This is literally, this was my dream car when I was a little kid. I always wanted to be like a trailero. It's freaking crazy. This is all chromed out. Damn. Seems crazy. And it has, look at the seats, first of all. And then it has a freaking engine in the back. Look at this. Seems it, this is insane, man. I'm telling you guys, these builds here are something else. <laughs> this is literally a transformer. Small little trailer. What the hell? Look, first of all, look at these small little wheels on the front. And then look at... It's like a freaking rocket ship. Lalo was laughing because he said, I, don't, I, I can't even fit in there. Look at how humongous these fuel... Fuel lines are. Fuel pumps, too. And then fun fact, I didn't know, but my boy, Johnny, was telling me, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed this net, the reason why it's there is because if the supercharger, or any of that were to fail and blow up, it won't hurt or fly out and kill or hurt someone. Man, look at the size of this tire. This is my hand. On some nice welds. Look at the power, 12,000. So, check this out. If it wasn't for my boy Johnny, I would have no idea, but I guess this is a S2000. The reason why I bring this up is because this is a car that a lot of you guys always go crazy about when I record it. The one that my neighbor has. But this thing looks way different than my neighbors, obviously, but man, this is crazy. So this right here is what the, the R8 that I showed you guys earlier in the video looked like before it ended up getting uh, chopped up and missing some parts. So I'm trying to explain to the compa Lalo that this is the car that he saw over there because he was, he was saying that the other one, he was confused on what kind of car it was. Here it is. I mean, this one's built as well. You could even see. Except this one is still complete though. The nice parachutes. Beautiful. I love it. There's no way this thing actually hops. Jimmy, Umilde, where you at? Ah, that's freaking sick. Lalo, imagine just getting paid to play with the car. Huh? Imagine getting paid just to play with the car. 
put in an application. We don't have any problem. <laughs> you wanna know what I told you, Johnny? You wanna know what I told Lalo? I told Lalo, Im imagine getting. Let's go. I told them, imagine getting paid just to play with the card. <laughs> That's Lalo's dream job. Right there, right, Lalo? Yo, now check this out. GMC 350 for towing. It does it all. Show and toes. My goodness, look at this. Jeez. And it has a freaking crazy ass car. Locked and loaded. No way now, this is my shit right here. Oh, what's even from Team Billet? What a small world. No, la neta, this right here. I don't even gotta do no talking, ladies and gentlemen. No freaking talking. GMC single cab. An absolute, uh, an absolute beast. God damn. Oh, viene de Jalisco, so. It's a real one. Una pinche chulada. La neta. Now, up next, we're, we're in the sound system center. And it's just pretty cool, man. This is another company I work with, Lynx, Lynxwell. It's called Lynxwell. As you guys know, this is exactly the same one that I have in my in my green truck. So it's just pretty cool. I'm telling you, it's pretty cool to see a lot of companies uh, that we, we use a lot of the products and stuff in person. You know, we get to chop it down with them. Um, you guys know I have two kickers, L7s, in my burgundy truck. So it's pretty cool. You know, we're talking to people and it's really nice.
He's killed it! That truck is B, it looks stolen, but. No pasa nada. 